Good day, everyone, and welcome to another edition of The Coordinate Plane. Today we're going to be talking about the four quadrants of the coordinate plane and how to tell where each coordinate would be. So let's start out with our first uh, sample. Let's say I've got over four and up three. So remember, this is the X and this is the Y working left to right. So we're going to start at the origin and we're going to go over one, two, three, four, and then we're going to go up three spaces for the Y. One, two, three. And that's where our first dot would be. And you can see that it's in quadrant one. Why? Well, because the X value and the Y value are both positive, just kind of like what we can see right there. So now let's see if we can plot a point in one of the other quadrants. So let's... Uh, try a different color shall we let's try three I mean let's try green what am I saying and uh, let's go back five and let's go up two so we're gonna start at the origin again only this time because X is negative we're gonna go back five so one two three four five and then we're gonna go up two. One, two. And that is going to be our next coordinate. And that is in quadrant 2 because the x value is negative and the y value is positive. So you can tell that if it's always a negative x and a positive um, y, that it's going to end up in quadrant 2. And now let's try a different color for the next one. Uh, purple maybe? Let me see if I can find purple. Purple! There it is. Okay. So now according to this down here we need two negative values so let's do negative uh, negative 8 and negative 7 so we're gonna go clear back we're starting at the origin we're gonna go back 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then we're gonna go down 7 so we're gonna go down 1 2 3 4 five, six, seven, and drop our coordinate dot right there. And you can see that it does end up in quadrant number three because both the X and the Y value are negative. And what color should we choose for the last one? Oh, I don't even know. How about uh, orange, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, sure, no. Yeah, let's do orange, orange. That's lovely. Okay, so now for um, the last one, we're going to plot using orange. Orange, you're going to ask me why I chose that color? Because I like orange. It's my favorite fruit. And according to this, we need a positive X and a negative Y in order to end up in quadrant four. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, let's do a positive, um, positive 10. Let's do positive 10. And let's do negative, um, negative 9. Positive 10, negative 9. Okay. So we start at the origin and we go over 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I gotta go down nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that, my friends, is gonna be where our final dot is gonna be located in quadrant number four. Anyways, I do hope that was helpful to you and um, best of luck in your math classes.